Hey, what's up, everybody? I got a brand new Dremel here. It's a Dremel 3000. Where my wife works, they were selling them for $39, and they said it originally was $69. And I was thinking, a 3000? I thought they were like $80 or $90. But anyways, I told her to get it, and it come with 25 attachments. So what I did, I got it home, and I opened it up, and it come with the, the hard pack and everything. The, the carrying case, that's pretty nifty. You know, I have mine, uh, Dremel 300, and uh, I bought a toolbox, and I put all my bits and everything in there, because this is not going to hold everything that I have and I need for my Dremel. So I took it out of the package, like this, and I looked at it, and I was like, you know what? Has the little variable speed on the side and and everything and I'm looking at the size of it and I was like you know what <laughs> this is funny a Dremel 3000 and here's mine a Dremel 300 it I'll tell you what it looks exactly the same just the the, the body the the casing is a little bit different I do not know why it's a they call it a 3000 and I, uh, this this actually you can hang it up. In a, my, I took mine off. I, I can't remember why I took it off. I think I was I had to take it apart because I had some dust or something. It wouldn't run, and I changed the brushes. Every once in a while, you have to change the brushes on these every so many hours. But you know, Dremel, what are you doing? I'm not knocking them, but this is kind of funny. I just I, th I think it's kind of funny. But still, I've had this in for probably close to, well, probably a little bit over 10 years. And I've used it on almost everything. All kinds of stuff. Polishing and cutting and and everything. And I do like the, the body style of this. This looks pretty cool. And mine has like a rubber thing on the side so you can hold on to it. This one doesn't. It has it at the tip. But your, the tip is a little bit different from mine. Um, it's just a different color. And you know, the cords are usually never long enough this looks a little bit longer I actually made my cord I got an extension cord and made the darn thing longer because it would really, really wouldn't really wouldn't work for me and um, all right the, the, the case and everything they do make good products I've had one another one that was given to me of a gift and it only lasted like for probably like 10 or 15 hours and it burned up and uh, I don't know why okay this comes with this hickey do I don't know what this thing does. Maybe I should look at the destruction booklet and tell you what the heck. It'll tell me what the heck's going on. Okay. They have a Dremel 100 and 200, and actually that one looks like a 200 looks like mine, but it's a, mine's a 300. Yeah, I can show you. It says 300 on that bad bird. So I don't know what that this part is. Um. Maybe in here they'll show it. Okay, it's a sharpening tool or something. No, that's not it. Okay, to license to uh, it, it has a different bits and everything with it, which is would it, I mean I'm telling you it's it's a great it's a good deal for this, but I'm like why did you put three thousand on it? That's what I'm just why I'm just really boggled. But uh, still they do make a great great tool. And actually, mine, my 300, I paid seventy dollars for it, and I am looking. I'm just going to probably put this in away until mine totally dies out on you. And the bits are really, are, are really useful. I use mostly the sanding drums, and but I have a different sanding drum. This one you use a little screw and expands it and it holds it in there. Mine, I pull it off and it slides off. And you put a new drum on there and you, you snap it down on. And what's really hard to find are these quarter inch ones. I think these are quarter inch, the smaller sanding drums, the, the mandrills for them. I don't know why they, it's so darn hard to find them. But you can cut all kinds of stuff. And I made a lot of walking sticks in my days using my Dremel and the, the reinforced cutting discs. So this is a very good deal. You get the polishing compound, you get deburring stuff, and you get the little wrench. You can tighten it up, and for, but for forty dollars, it ain't bad. But once you once you want to buy it, it was, it was I think it was twenty nine. Hold on. Okay, I just confirmed. In the ad, it said it was thirty nine dollars. When she tried to buy it, they tried to charge her forty nine, and I was like, no. She said, no, 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 no. You, you, you here's the ad. You got to give it to me for this. So they gave it to her for it. And I was like, well, you got to change your ad or do some finagling. But anyways, 
I like the case and everything. It's like I said before, it's not going to carry everything I have. I have mine in a big toolbox, a Plano 732. I think it has the side pockets that pop out and got all the trays and everything for all the bits and stuff that I that I use. So uh, I just wanted to, to point that out. At a, a 3000, kind of looks like a 300 to me. So I mean, if you're ever thinking about getting a Dremel for polishing, cutting, grinding. You can sharpen lawnmower blades, whatever you want to do with the darn things. Um, it, it works great. I've used it, I used mine for multiple things. So, anyways, that's about it. And yeah, that's about it. So, I'll uh, I'll have to see you next time. And thanks for watching.